the blues, the reds, and the whites, all in perfect unison as they await the commencement of the day's historic event. Here, one general is calling time on his duties as the chief of defense forces. General Julius Karangi, originally from the Kenya Air Force, gives way to General Samson Mwathethe, a Navy man. This in keeping with the policy of the defense forces. Kenya Defense Forces has its regulations and in the laws stipulates that the tenure of command of a CDF is four years, non-renewable. General Karangi's one four-year term began in 2010. A year later, he led Kenyan troops into Somalia under Operation Linda Inchi, an exercise he says was necessitated by the desire to deal with the Al-Shabaab threat. Our entry in Somalia in 2011, pursuant to a primary mandate, was informed by the threat that the country faced long before, I say long before, that and therefore as good Kenyans we should not we should not trivialize this matter that military incursion he says will remain one of his lasting legacies it was the first time in recent history that the country's military was actively engaged in a foreign territory as a direct response to insecurity inside Kenya we were able to capture and eliminate our Shabab networks in large stretches of hostile territory and by so doing, surprised many skeptics and many naysayers all over the world. It also served to show up the other side of the defense forces, which until then had been known only for peacekeeping and parades. But with increasing calls from some quarters for the withdrawal of KDA from Somalia, Karangi says the country's involvement in the war torn Somalia will end only after KDF achieves its mission. His successor, General Samson Mwathethe, is reading from the same script. I will work very closely with other security and government departments and do my best to ensure the resolution of threats to security in the country and also at the regional level. General Karangi's departure leaves the incoming CDF with the challenge of leading the defense forces as it seeks to finish the task started by Karangi of eliminating the Al-Shabaab threat both externally and internally. This is how General Julius Karangi exits the DOD and by extension the military after 42 years of service with the topmost honors accorded to an officer of his rank. He now says he is looking forward to enjoying his retirement years. Brenda Wanga, NTV, Nairobi.